On today's segment about mineralogy, I took a sample from my personal collection and here it is. So here you could see, let's see if the camera can focus a little bit. So let's see, it's almost there. There we go. So here you could see some long greenish crystals. There's one down here, there's one here. So these crystals are crystals of spodumene. Spodumene is a mineral that contains lithium, aluminum, silicium, and oxygen. So let's see if we can talk about this a little bit. So I took this, I, well, I, took, I found this sample in, in an old mining claim that was in Northern Quebec. It was a company called Quebec Lithium. It was in the 1990s when we, we saw it on the map. We were driving, the, the, the gate was open. We tried to see if we can ask and talk to somebody else and there was, there was nobody there. So we did not create any difficulties. So what I did, as you can see on this side, there were some rocks piling up on the side of the road. So I took this one here, it was dirty, and I, cut, I broke a piece and we could see the crystals right here. What's interesting with this mineral called spodumene, spodumene, so we, it's called a lithium aluminum silicate. So what we have, we have lithium, there you go. So we have lithium, which is the metal we're looking for. We have aluminum, silica, and oxygen. Now the earth's crust is full of aluminum, silicium, and oxygen. But what is interesting with that place is that it contains an increased quantity of lithium. So if you are looking for a showing, of a mineral for gold, for example, or for different metals like zinc or copper. We're looking for what we're looking for. And then we are measuring, is it possible that the concentration is high enough for someone to make money mining these? In the nineties, this was a showing. And what happened is that it was a small place. The price of lithium was not as high because we we're just starting to create uh, batteries for cameras only. Cell phones were, I don't even know if I did not have a cell phone back then when I was a geologist. So what happened is that the demand for lithium was much smaller. Since the 1990s, we've, have, we've had an increased number of cell phones in the society, as well as the electric cars that need several met metals to be able to have very efficient batteries for them to work. So I'm going to show it to you because it's always interesting to see how it is. And then I'm going to show you other, uh, other pictures from the net. So this is what we, this is from what we call a pegmatite. So a pegmatite here is that it's a place where we have a very hot fluid that brings some materials and it has time to create those long, longer crystals like this. So usually if you look at the granite, you have very small crystals because of the room they have and the pressure and the condition. So for this one here, you have these longer uh, crystals, but you can also see some feldspar. So all around, so you could see right here, it says there's a little shininess. So this is another crystal. This is not spodumene. This is a feldspar that is within that, uh, that fracture. You can think of, you have geology, there's a crack, it increases then you've got material going up and it has time to cool down and there's enough uh, input of, of minerals, atoms, silicates, aluminum. So here basically you have lithium oxide, aluminum oxide and, and uh, silicium oxide together because they have time, they form a crystal structure, structure which is very good. So I'm gonna show here something interesting. So let's see if I can, I need to show the screen. So these are two examples. So spodumene as a mineral has a greenish color. So here you can see, and here it is a crystal that had time to, time to form. And that's when you can see the lattice right here. And here you see a point, a very nice a specimen right here. I'm going to put the link in the comments below once I edit the video. Another example is this one. So if you have a perfect environment, in which case you have this lithium aluminum silicate that can form amazing, uh, amazing crystals here, you end up with uh, something where it's almost gem quality. And what we have 
is that we have collectors of minerals that are doing amazing. With respect to, to me, I find that I collect minerals. However, I collect minerals from different places I go, a showing of minerals that uh, will be shown on the map. If in Ontario here, I have some literature on places where I can find some minerals. They're not large crystals, but they're, minute, they're small crystals enough to make it exciting for me to collect. So this is the mineral I have today about the spodumene. I'm going to put here a link to another video I did on garnets. And you'll see every, as I go along, I've had some requests to do more and more videos on mineralogy. And hopefully you will enjoy. So on this, here's the video and I'll see you in the video on garnet. See you there.